So in chapter 4, we're actually going to be skipping some material and just doing about half of this lesson 4-2. We'll do sections 3, 4, and 5 and call it a chapter. So 4-2 is called Organizing Data. And specifically, we're going to talk about stem and leaf plots and back-to-back -back stem and leaf plots. So a stem and leaf plot is a way of displaying data, and a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot is a way we would display two sets of related data, such as wins and losses for a team, something like that. So we're actually not going to do this first example. We're going to talk about stem and leaf plots on this section. So in a stem and leaf plot, numbers look like this. There's going to be a number on the left side of a bar, a bar, and then numbers on the right. The number on the left is called the stem, and each number on the right is a leaf. So collectively, they are leaves. This particular bit here shows us the numbers 25, 26, and 27. The number or numbers on the left are the first numbers of... I should say the first digits of the number. The single number on the right side is always just the number in the ones place. We do not use commas in a stem and leaf plot. So, list the data values from this stem and leaf plot. Well, 0, 2 is the number 2. 0, 5 is the number 5. 1, 3 is 13, and there are two of those. Then we have 1, 7 for 17, 1, 8 for 18. 2, 0 is 20. 2, 2 is 22. 2, 6 is 26. 3, 1 is 31. And 3, 7 is 37. Turn these numbers into a stem and leaf plot. So we want to look through here and find the smallest number, which looks like 35. And the biggest number, which I believe is 91. That would mean we need stems of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You're not allowed to skip stems. Now, I need to find all my numbers in the 30s so that I can put those in order. So there's a number in the 30s. There's a number in the 30s, just the 2. Now we put the leaves in order from least to greatest, so that means I've got 35 and 38, so we're going to do 5 and 8. Now I need to look for numbers in the 40s. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers in the 40s. So a lot to do here. Leaves go in order. There are three 40s, so I must put three zeros. Next, there's a 42. A 44. A 47. And a 48. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was just counting the number of numbers I wrote and the number of numbers I highlighted to make sure I got everything. Now I'm going to go through and look for things in the 50s. And I only see two. 55 and 58. So I put a 5 and an 8. 60s. We've got 67, 61, and 63. So we put those in order for 61, 63, and 67. 70s. We have 77 and 74. So we'll put those in order. We'll put 74 and 7. Let's see if I can make that 4 look like a 4. And then I don't think I need to highlight at this point 80s, there's just an 84. And 90s, there's a 91. So there's a stone leaf plot. If there are no numbers in a group, you still have to include the stem if it's between your smallest and biggest, there will just be no leaves. Something to keep in mind. So a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot 
kind of does the same thing. So here we've got related data, winning and losing scores from the Super Bowl for a 10-year period. 11-year period, actually. So I've already filled in the stems in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What we're going to do is fill in the winning and losing sides. So we're going to do winning first. And in the winning scores, there are no scores in the 10s, so the first top line we will get to leave blank. For scores in the 20s, we have a 20, a 27, and a 23. So we've got to put those in order, so 20, 23, and 27. For scores in the 30s, we've got ourselves a 37, a 30, a 35, and a 31, and a 34. So let's see, in order, that's going to be 30, 31, 34, 35, 37. For scores in the 40s, we have just the 49. So 4 gets a 9. And for 50s, then, there's a 52 and a 55. So a 2 and a 5. Now, the losing side. There are scores in the 10s. We have 10, we have 19, 17, 13, 17, 19, and 16. This we actually do in reverse. We mirror it. So while I'm going to start with my lowest number of 10, I'm going to put it right next to the 0. I'm going to work to my left as I write these numbers out. So the next smallest number is 13. So I'll put a 3. The next smallest number is the 16, so I'll put a 6. There are two 17s, so I'll put two 7s. And there are two 19s, so I'll put two 9s. Now we're mirroring this, so we put the lowest number on the right and work to our left. I'm just going to count real fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good. And every other losing score is in the 20s. So we have a 21, so we put a 1. Two 24s, so I'll put down two 4s, and 26, so I'll put a 6.